Hello, I'm Bogdan. I'm a backend engineer at GitLab. In this video, I will talk about SSH keys. Open SSH in version 8.2 added support for two new types of SSH keys that can be generated and only work together with uh, a security key. By security key, I mean a FIDO UTF hardware authenticator. For instance, uh, I use uh, uh, UBK as a, a security key. In this video, I will show how those two new types of SSH keys uh, work uh, with GitLab. I have GitLab instance up and running on my local environment, and I have created my personal account. Uh, let's go to uh, user uh, settings, SSH keys page, and add uh, uh, such type of SSH key. I already uh, added one type of SSH key, so uh, let's uh, add another type. Uh, to learn how to do so, we can use uh, GitLab documentation. As you see, this documentation uh, mentions about those two new types of SSH keys, and uh, there is a section uh, that uh, guides how to uh, create, generate SSH key pair for a security key. Uh, so first we should uh, insert uh, our security key into uh, our computer. I'm gonna do so it's right now. Uh, so open terminal and uh, use command SSH KJ gen to generate SSH key. It uh, requires uh, uh, type argument uh, uh, that uh, specifies what kind of algorithm we want to use. And also it supports another interesting option, uh, resident. This option indicates uh, that the key uh, should be stored uh, uh, on the security key. So, it uh, makes easier to import such a uh, uh, key to SSH key to new computer uh, because it could be loaded directly from the security uh, key uh, by using uh, commands like uh, SSH add this key option or SSH key gen this key option. Uh, when we proceed with uh, SSH key gen, it will uh, prompt us to touch our uh, security key to proceed. Uh, after that, it would, uh, uh, we will go through the same steps as for uh, the rest of uh, SSH keys, like uh, uh, a suggested file name directory, specify a passphrase, etc. Uh, and in the end, we will see a confirmation that our SSH key is generated and stored. Uh, after that, we would need to add uh, S, uh, this SSH key to our uh, GitLab account. Uh, I already generated uh, this SSH key, so let me show it. Oops. Let's go to SSH directory. And uh, as you see, uh, there is uh, two there is pair, my pair of SSH key. We are interested in public, uh, in public SSH key. Uh, here you see the output of uh, my public SSH key. Let's copy that and uh, put that uh, to our uh, GitLab account. I will change the title bit to because I already have another uh, SSH key this uh, title as my email, so I will differentiate them. So let's add SSH key. As you can see, it's added. Uh, you can see fingerprints, uh, etc. So this is on the list of our uh, SSH keys. Uh, so now we can use this SSH key to, uh, to uh, proceed some Git uh, operation. For instance, uh, uh, I have uh, I put, 
a private project. Uh, so I gonna uh, uh, let's see uh, the latest commits to that project and uh, and let's create a new commit and try to push to our GitLab instance. This is the uh, diff we're gonna to push. Let's create the commit. And let's push it to GitLab. As you can see, it prompts us to, to, uh, to confirm a user presence for our key. So currently my uh, secure, uh, uh, security key uh, uh, blinking to, to, uh, to uh, like asking me to tap it. So when I uh, tap on my security key, it would proceed with uh, SSH authentication. And if it uh, succeeds, it would, uh, uh, it would proceed with Git operation. Uh, it's probably because of timeout, so let's uh, repeat it again. I'm gonna to tap my uh, security key, and as you see, uh, Git operation uh, succeeded. So if we go to uh, GitLab, uh, we should see this uh, uh, new co commit here. And as you see, it's, it's here. Let's uh, see Git diff of this commit to make sure yeah that's uh, what we uh, what we've changed so let's create another commit for instance i will uh, just revert uh, the latest commit and now i plug unplug in my uh, uh, security key and try uh, to a push again and as you see it's immediately fails because uh, uh, authentication couldn't happen without security key so what it means that if somebody stole my uh, uh, ssh key pair uh, they wouldn't uh, be able to access uh, uh, my git uh, my git uh, GitLab, uh, uh, repositories because they have no uh, my security key. So let me plug in uh, it back to my computer and uh, repeat git uh, push operation. Uh, as you see, it uh, again prompts to uh, confirm my presence. So I type on my uh, security key and it proceeds with git operation. And uh, let's see into the list of commits. We should see the latest one that reverts uh, the current one. As you see, it it is. Uh, what else? Uh, also, uh, admin uh, of GitLab instance uh, could uh, restrict use uh, restrict usage of any type of uh, uh, SSH uh, keys, uh, including those uh, new two two ones that uh, work together with security key. Um, that's all I want to mention. Thank you for watching.